Santiago former President Sebastián Panera of Chile, a conservative billionaire, on Sunday won the first round of an election to choose a successor to President Michelle Bachelet. Mr. Panera, 67, who won 36 percent of the vote, will compete in a runoff election on December. 17 against a center-left journalist and former news anchor, Alejandro Gil Lyer, 64, who received 22% of the ballots cast. The biggest surprise of the day was the surge of the left, marking a shift in Chile's political map. Coming in a close third was another journalist, Beatriz Sanchez, 46, who had no political experience but became well known for her acid political critiques on radio and television. M.S. Sanchez represented the leftist coalition Frente Amplio, which was founded early this year. Expected to draw less than 10% of the vote, she won over 20%. For the first time, as of next year political power will not be wielded solely by the two major coalitions that have governed Chile since the end of military rule in 1990. Preliminary results on Sunday evening showed significant gains by the Frente Amplio in Congress, as well as a stark generational shift and a greater number of women elected as lawmakers. We've been living in a democracy full of constraints, with the same politicians in government and Congress for too many years, said Patricia Bravo, a 56-year-old drug rehabilitation therapist who supported MS. Sanchez they already fulfilled their role which was to transit towards democracy, but it is time to change.